Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and make the star nut for which is going to be on the bottom of our iPhone here. And we're just simply going to use the same process that we used for our plus and minus button. So let's go into my shelf here, go into the rigging tool here, and we'll just go ahead and create a circle. And we'll go ahead and create a star too. And you can see right off the bat that these sort of line up a little bit, but go ahead and scale this up here and that looks okay but I mean you can if you look close you can see where it should line up here but if this doesn't have the the right amount of geometry we sort of aren't going to get the right layout so we need to go ahead and count how many vertices are going to be on our star which I think is 16 here so we'll go ahead and change the sections on our circle to 16 so that it matches a little bit better okay go ahead and delete the history and freeze the transformations there and we're going to go into our surfaces menu and I just simply hit F4 there as the sh for the shortcut and we'll go into our planar tool and you can see the the settings again here they're all the same settings that we use to go ahead and make our plus button so we'll go ahead and hit apply and then we'll select our star shape and hit apply. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to hit 5 on my keyboard to basically shade the model here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and scale these or move these up so that oh, I selected a little bit too much there. Let's go ahead and clear the history just so that I can go ahead and select what I need to select here. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a cur the curves to their own layer here. Just move these back down. Go ahead and select the curve there. Add that to the curves layer. Okay, now we're going to now <coughs> we're going to get into the fun part. So Let's go ahead back into our polygon menu here and let's merge these or combine them. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and delete some of these faces off because I don't want to do it <coughs> or edit the geometry all on on every side. I simply just want to do it for once. So let's go ahead and delete that off there. Delete those. Okay, now we're going to go into our vertex tool here, and I'm just using V to snap these to to the vert vertices that are on the star. Just trying to match it as well as I can here. And now I just need to go ahead and merge these verts that I've all snapped. and I'm going to go ahead and delete some faces off here and you can see that we have what is going to be the base for our our star there and I'm going to go ahead and delete this quarter of the star okay and we'll go into our polygon shelf here and just select our split polygon tool here and just start drawing some some edge loops and we just have to be careful on how we go ahead and actually draw these edge loops because we don't necessarily want a, a ton of triangles. We can probably get away with one or two since this is on the bottom and it's not necessarily going to be seen a lot. Um, but I mean I would definitely prefer to have triangles but for for the star knot here since it is somewhat more of a complex shape we can simply get away with it. Okay. So now that we have all those drawn out here, let's go into our mesh tool here, go into our mirror geometry here, and we'll just mirror it in the plus Z direction, and then we'll go ahead and mirror it in the plus X direction, which is the wrong way there, sorry. Do that in the minus Z direction there. And you can see where our, you know, shape is for our star nut is basically right there. 
So we just simply need to go ahead and select all those inside faces for our star nut here. And you can see that I have them all selected there. Go ahead and use the inset tool just to inset it a little bit. And this is going to allow me to go ahead and create a very hard shape for this. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and basically extrude this down so that there's some depth on it. And I'm going to go ahead and check the smoothing on that. And that looks okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and select the border edge here. And I don't want to specifically extrude it down. I want to extrude it out first so I can add an edge loop there so that it's going to maintain its shape and it's sort of going to eliminate those triangles at each four corner there. And then I'll just go ahead and extrude that down. And basically there is our star nut. We just need to add the edge loops here so that it's going to maintain its shape. And hold that hard edge. Put those in there for the middle as well. And I'm going to go ahead and convert this just to make sure that our smoothing is working fine. And yes, that looks good. So there's our star nut. And uh, we'll go ahead and have those to be able to import into our, our iPhone scene.